right then, mates, welcome back. Up next, Mr. Joe Joyce, the juggernaut. Let's take a peek at his stats real quick. Joyce is a heavyweight boxer from the UK. He's currently 13-0 with a 92.31% KO ratio. Joyce is also 36 years old, and at that age, and only 13 fights, the window of opportunity is closing very fast. These days, we have fighters unifying and becoming undefeated in their mere 20s. So, what is a juggernaut? You got two options here. First, juggernaut is a fictional Marvel comic book character. The second is an overpowering destructive force or object such as a war, a giant battleship, or a powerful team. So the juggernaut is a badass, basically. He's big, very strong, packs a powerful punch, and has a granite chin. All right, first off, I must commend Mr. Joyce on being original with the choosing of his boxing name. Whether it was bestowed upon him or he chose it himself, I think one should be unique and original in all aspects of their boxing, especially their names. But enough about that. I'm here to talk about Joe Joyce's actual boxing in the ring. And I must say, Joe Joyce's style and techniques to me are very robotic and stiff. He lumbers about the ring as he pursues his opponents. His punches appear to lack speed and better techniques. He appeared to be stuck in the amateur development stage of his boxing. But at the same time, he's undefeated as a pro boxer, so all due respects are given. His training and physical conditionings look to be top-notch, and his overall athletic abilities are great. But nevertheless, these bad attributes are demonstrated in the ring no matter how hard they're worked on in the gym. And it is simply because certain things only the boxer can fix himself, no matter the coach or any other outside influences. But first, the boxer must also recognize the trait, and it needs to be addressed. Antonio Margarito, for example, would always utilize a slip rope in his training, but never demonstrated decent or good head movement in the ring. If you were to ask me, what can Joe do? Well, for starters, bending his knees a little better as he moves around. This will allow him to work on his upper body mobility and flexibility a whole lot better. Next, I'd suggest he rework his jab and focus on it being fast and snappier instead of a more powerful jab. Another suggestion would be for him to learn how to control range and work from the outside a bit more. It seems a great waste of time not to use distance and range considering Joe Joyce is six foot, six inches tall. I wonder, could it be that for the late starters such as Joyce, it takes a while longer for everything to settle in? Are certain traits in boxing only developed at a younger stage in boxing? I mean, Deontay Wilder is a late starter, and he does demonstrate similar attribute deficiencies. Not too long ago, when there were doubts about the Joshua versus Usyk rematch happening due to the war in the Ukraine. Joe Joyce called out Anthony Joshua and suggested that they fight instead. And although I might not be the biggest Joshua fan, I would have favored Joshua to be victorious over Joyce. All right, that's pretty much it for this one. And uh, speaking of Mr. Usyk, I'm going to let him finish this off for us.